Red light appears. Stand by, racing now. Undisclosed Dawn Mission went straight out the back in the first to leave Copper Fury and also Misty Metal and flying away as Wine Thief. Settling behind them, Danes Marie won't contest for the front, pushing up Sterling Estate. And then on the outside of those, Speeding Comet sitting three deep in the early part. Further back is Undisclosed and the tail ender is Dawn Mission. Copper Fury by the 600 leads the way by a length over Wine Thief. Then Sterling Estate down on the inside, the stable mate of the leader. Three quarters of a length away then is Misty Metal who's getting a nice run coming to the corner then no luck on the outside speeding Comet but starting to work into it trailed then by undisclosed G Danes Maria dropped off them with Dawn Mission next to last balancing and going by the 250 the stable mate Sterling Estate Copper Fury but here comes on the outside speeding Comet Misty Metal got squeezed up behind them and then came undisclosed but speeding Comet pulls away and it's a treble for Simon Miller in the first three races on the card he's having an absolute day out speeding Comet from either undisclosed or down on the inside finishing strongly Dawn Mission and they were followed by Sterling Estate then came Misty Metal who did have to change direction at the 200 metre mark Danes Marie back there with it and a long way back to Wine Thief trailing them home the speedy Copper Fury Speeding Comet ridden by Taylor Stone sat deep in running too good for them though it was well well down in class dropped tremendously in quality this afternoon on its recent efforts behind uh, Jing Tang and Floyd. And although it had to sit wide, it was still much too good. Dawn Mission from near enough to last at the top of the straight, scooting right home along the fence, grabbing second placing, 58.85 there. They've run time as well, 58.85. Undisclosed will be third home. Speeding Comet giving Simon Miller the first three winners on today's card. Five ten and two dollars even. Dawn Mission six ten the place. Undisclosed two eighty. The winner is by Manhattan Rain out of Brazen Hussey, owned by David Smith from the Scenic Lodge, handled by Apprentice Taylor Stone. Rides in the National Jockeys Invite race two later on in the day. Young Bundy Stone. Second is seven. Dawn Mission. Jess Eaton who'll ride in the same race later. David Harrison the trainer. Am I at a canter mare? Out of delicate snip for Allen and Beer get McAllister. Kay Wardle, C. McAllister. Undisclosed third in by Alfred Nobel from Agra. Colin Webster, Troy Turner. Just watching Misty Metal there. It did get tightened up, got across the heels of Sterling Estate. And uh, Sean McGruddy had to switch back inside Sterling Estate's heels. And at that stage, Speeding Comet was off and gone. Dawn Mission was getting home along the rail pretty well from Undisclosed. There might have been a little excuse for Misty Metal, but one wonders if it was travelling well enough to really stretch the winner in that particular race, I would doubt. A length and a quarter of long head were margins, 34.18, the last 600. OK, the next on the car, the running of race four, the Heineken handicap, over 1,400 for three-year-olds at 2.59. There are no changes there as Taylor Stone makes her way back aboard Speeding Comet, getting home to score. And uh, it's been just over one year since the Chestnut last celebrated a victory. But it's been a day of celebration for trainer Simon Miller, who has come up this afternoon with a treble in the first three events on the card. And uh, let's go back down once again. Gareth Holland, quite sure what else he can possibly say because he's having a super afternoon out. Yeah, he, he's, um, he's that up and about, Darren. He's starting to lead the horses in these days and speeding Comet never really on the track. Three wide, four wide without cover, but too strong in the end. Yeah, he was good. Um, I said to Jeremy uh, yesterday, I said, he's going really well knocking on the door. I said, if he wins this, I'm leading him in. Uh, this is yesterday. Um, and ironically... Um, he's got the job done today, so maybe he had a karma mark because those two were rivals all the way through as two-year-olds. So could, who knows? Could be deja vu. I'm pretty confident about Atacama Sky. You just keep on mentioning him all the time. But this horse, as Darren pointed out, was way back in class today and um, showed his class in the end. Yeah, he's really good. His last two runs have been excellent um, and three votes to uh, Taylor Stone too. I said he'll spring the gates and you'll naturally want to be there. I said, but just don't grab old, come back and, and see where you lob. And when she was three wide, um, she didn't panic, which was a, a great trait for a young apprentice, having the first ride for another stable. So it was a really good ride and it was nice to see him win and, as well as her. Well, well done. That's the first three winners on this program. Let's hope it can continue.
Thanks, Gareth. There you go, Simon Miller and Taylor Stone. First ride, I think, for SA Miller today. It might be, and it's a winner. Well, Taylor, you pick up the ride due to Kate Witten being suspended. First ride for Simon Miller, and you've made it a winner. How good's that? Yeah, you know, it's really good that um, uh, Simon could ring me and put me on. You know, credit to Kate. She'd been riding the horse the last couple starts and just been hitting the line really well. And today was the day that it had the win in it. So, um, you know, yeah, I'm very thankful to, you know, the both of them for putting me on. You were stuck out wide for a little bit, but as Simon pointed out, you didn't panic. Um, I was panicking a little bit inside, <laughs> but um, you know, you just don't show it and I had that awkward gait, so um, you know, I passed Danes Marie and kept it in and I knew once I was getting past the favourite that I was nearly home, so it was just good that the horse could let down like it did. You always felt like you had that amount of horse underneath you? Uh, yeah, definitely. I got around the home corner and I thought I'm home here, so um, yeah, like I said, credit to Kate and um, obviously credit to Simon and his team and thanks for putting me on. You ride in the exact same colours in the jockey invitation race a little later in the day what are your expectations there um you know the horse run was a good run last Saturday so I'm hoping that it can you know bring the same performance it had last Saturday to today and it should be hard to beat congratulations on the win and fly the flag for WA a little later today thank you